how do you build in a forest on a mountain on a waterfall or in nature this is the story that we're going to talk about the things that we are working on is how to use technology where the buildings themselves are not static you know they're kind of mobile and what they do in england and europe is in the garden they make these structures which are completely non functional and they call it a folly It's been an interesting journey. So in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to encapsulate the chimera that we are struggling or grappling with it for the last 16 years. And that chimera is how do you build in a forest on a mountain on a waterfall or in nature. So this is the story that we're going to talk about and we call this as a diet buildings because it's extremely lightweight in response to the context that we build in and the genesis of the diet building happened with the conversation between sir norman foster and buckminster fuller so let's start and i would also like to thank people who has been a part of our journey especially anil and gauri so without them it's not possible where to reach where we are so i'll start now i remember flying him to in a helicopter to um to the sainsbury center at university of east anglia and then we spent really quite a long time walking around the building going back into the building through the spaces talking about it and when he came back into the restaurant he drew attention to the way that the sun had moved the shadows had changed and then he turned around to me and said how much does your building weigh norman how much does your building weigh and that was a question that sir buckminster fuller asked sir norman foster and that is the genesis of a story so we're going to start with the first one which started in 2007 and it's called the machan so you can see the difference between a diet building and an rcc building if it was to be built in the same location So this is a completely recyclable building you can relocate it 95% of the parts can be reused it's made out of steel glass and wood So this is a location you can see the context it's completely a forest or a mountain The second one is built on a lake in pa in Pune on Kharagwasla again it's an extremely lightweight structure made out of steel glass and wood we call it the eye on the lake and you can see the weight differences
The third one is again in a forest in a mountain in Nasik, which is called the glass house. Again, it's, these are all recyclable buildings, they're nut and bolt structures. The fourth one is the most interesting one and one of the most difficult projects that we had to do. It is a house on a waterfall. It's, uh, it's just a waterfall, there's no land as such. And the client wanted to make a house on a waterfall and it's extremely challenging how to negotiate a landscape like this without destroying it. So this has been one of the most fulfilling projects for us. I will also share a video which shows that how the whole building was built over there. It's an animation one. So this building is 65 feet above the ground. You enter through a bridge. This is a view from the bridge. So this is a bird's eye view. You can see the bridge, which is like an umbilical cord that brings you to the house. It's the interiors of it. So this is an animation video. And the last, the last one is uh, 
I'd seen many years back uh, when Bernard Shumi had done the Follies, so it was extremely inspirational. And this is a what they do in England and Europe is in the garden they make these structures which are completely non-functional and they call it a folly. So when we got a chance to do something for one of the projects that we are working on, and we designed a red folly. Thank you very much.